you know, when you watch someone like Logan Paul, for as much shit that he gets, he has honestly accomplished quite a bit as a 22-year-old, and uh, I, you have to give him credit where credit's due. I guess I could start with... Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm... I may have spoken a bit too soon. Uh. Hello everyone, my name is Leon Lush, and welcome back to a new video. Thank you so much for joining me, I appreciate your time greatly. Now there's not a whole lot more that can be said about this Logan Paul situation. It's been about two days since he casually and jokingly vlogged himself in front of a fresh corpse in the suicide forest of Japan, someone who had recently hung himself. Some tragic shit, vlogged it all, somehow made it up the fucking chain of command to an editor, probably shown to his manager, green light that shit, and they posted it to YouTube. Now naturally, the entire internet, the entire world for that matter, collectively paused very briefly, drew in a deep breath, and thought to themselves, what the fuck were you thinking, you fucking idiot? Now, of course, we've seen all kind of reactions. A lot of people made videos about it. Everyone's had a little something to say about it. Most reasonable people agree. It was a pretty disgusting thing to do. Uh, and was very insensitive. So Logan eventually took the video down, and now he's issued this apology on YouTube that's been number one on trending for almost 24 hours. Has like 12, 13 million views at this point, where... It's the first time I think I've seen Logan seem somewhat genuine, but there's always that part of me that thinks he's just manipulating the fuck out of this whole situation. Like, he knew what he was doing when he uploaded this video. There's no chance that nobody in his squad didn't know that this was going to cause an outrageous backlash, but backlash equals attention. And is there anything in the world that Logan Paul loves more than attention? Oh, my friends, I submit that no, there is not. I should have never posted the video. I should have put the cameras down and stopped recording what we were going through. Well, hindsight is always 2020, isn't it? God, it's so easy to know what you should and shouldn't have done after you royally fuck up and the whole world chews your fucking nutsack off. But maybe you should get better at in the moment using your brain. Maybe you should think a little bit more when you have that camera in your face and you're waving it around day in and day out, uploading content to hundreds of thousands, millions and millions of young children. You need to hold yourself to a higher standard. You're setting an example for the future of our world, right? You're setting an example to the youth of the entire fucking world through the power of the internet and you are doing a disastrous job. Now I could dig deeper into the apology video, but I'll spare you. I'm sure you've already seen it. And I could talk about the fact that YouTube hasn't even fucking responded to this whole situation because they're massive pussies. They can't have their golden poster boy, Logan Paul, doing shit like this. That's not, that's not good for PR, man. And I guarantee you when Susan Wojcicki caught wind of this, she just went into her office casually, put the blinds down, sat down in her $3,000 chair and just had a good fucking cry because she knows she's gonna get fucking lambasted for this one. But yet they haven't, they, they still haven't said shit. So what, what, I mean, who knows what they're gonna do? Is he gonna get disciplined? Probably not, and that's the problem. YouTubers, they have no one to be accountable to. I mean, you have people literally doing nothing, getting their channels striked down, fucking getting their videos demonetized over nothing. And then you have the biggest YouTuber on the planet, pretty much. Sorry, PewDiePie. But I mean, he, at this point, yeah, kind of. Uh, vlog a uh, fucking around a suicide. It, it, nothing happens. Nothing happens. No penalty. It's whatever. Just go on making $30 million a year on our platform. You can do whatever you want. You're not going to get in trouble because you bring us lots of money. So I could talk about that forever, too. But I'll spare you. What I do want to talk about is the Kool-Aid drinking motherfucking low gang in their blind allegiance to their cult leader Logan Paul even though a normal person would not film it we're mavericks so we film it anyway so boom, boom, boom. Mm. maverick style over the past several days I've seen tweets screenshots of comments of just these young kids going to fucking battle for Logan Paul in this whole situation. And I understand wanting to like stick up for the creators you love. I like that. Allegiance is cool, but blind allegiance 
is not. There needs to be some accountability. And even if you are a fucking stan of your favorite YouTuber and, and you think they are the best thing since fucking sheepskin condoms, you have to be able to have the self-awareness to know when they fucked up and be like, all right, put let's put this in check for a second and take a step back and be like, all right, maybe this wasn't the best move. I still like you, but you fucked up. Let's figure out a way to rectify this situation. But that's not possible because this is the internet where crazy as fuck is the new norm. So I'm thinking to myself, how can I gain some insight into the lives of these children? How can I walk a mile in their shoes to help me understand, to help me empathize with this blind allegiance that they have for their master? And I thought no better way to do that than to roll down to the comment section of Logan's apology video. Let's take a walk. Crazy. Does that make me crazy? Oh yeah! Right, Logan, you'll probably never see this, but I'm a Maverick since day one. I was with you when you were in Vine, and I have your merch, and I'll always be with you. Meeting you in person was the best experience in my life, and for whoever hasn't met you doesn't understand that a truly amazing person you are. I believe in you, and I know that you obviously do YouTube for money, but that's what YouTube's for, so you shouldn't be getting hate for that. I love you, Logan, from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> I know that you just wanted to share content with us, and I will admit it wasn't right for what you did, but you said sorry, and I forgive you. We should forgive you. We should all forgive you and dab on them haters like Jake says, laughing till I'm crying emoji. I'm in the low gang, though, anyway. I know you learned from your mistakes and that's why I forgive you is I was scrolling through the comments and if I was you I wouldn't Logan because you're not worth all the hate you're getting now stay strong and do what you always tell us to do and don't give you we are Logang who's doing it us is it is it is us the Mavericks it is us the motherfucking Mavericks we're doing this stay strong Logan stay strong Logan oh shit sorry I got, <laughs> got a little transported there I felt felt like I was really a 12 year old. At least he has the balls to say sorry. Listen, Luke, it shouldn't take balls to say you're sorry. When you're dead ass motherfucking wrong, it should be a natural thing to say you're sorry for being a fucking moron. Every single time, why does everyone have to pull down successful people? Yes, I agree he made a mistake, but he was trying to spread the message. He was not laughing at the body, he was laughing to lighten the mood of the audience. Everyone makes a mistake, please let him go. Logan Paul is doing amazing. Imagine how he must be feeling millions of people cursing him. Well, I hope he's feeling pretty fucking bad, Taha, okay? Because yeah, everyone makes mistakes, but some are a little some are a little worse than others. People who are unsubscribing are ridiculous and need to understand that it was a mistake and they make them too. Logan, I love you and you should be forgiven by everyone who watched this video I love. Well, I watched the video, so I guess I have to forgive Logan now, too. Oh, man. I gotta tell you, this whole fucking defense of everyone makes mistakes is such garbage. I mean, I, I get it. Yes, everyone makes mistakes, but Hitler made a couple mistakes. Should we forgive him, too? And no, I'm not comparing what Logan did to the Holocaust. I'm simply saying that all mistakes should not be treated equally. Well, you did make his face blurred and called the cops, so I forgive you. Yeah, that Logan Paul, class act. At least he had the decency to blur the face of the corpse he was vlogging in front of. For once, he's not screaming in a video. <laughs> Alexi, I actually, I noticed that too. It was, it was kind of nice. It was to actually watch a Logan Paul video where my eardrums didn't bleed afterwards. I, I hope he does more apology videos like this. Logan, what you did was really, really bad, and I cannot say what you did was good, because it was really, really bad, as you just said as you went right up to the victim and started making jokes, which I cannot defend, but I forgive you because I am a low gangster and I know you just did not know how to act. Low gangster. Well, I must say that was a wildly unsuccessful experiment. I tried to understand where these kids were coming from and I simply cannot. Uh, but as to be expected, the rest of the comment section uh, absolutely crucifies him. <laughs> and it's, I mean, that makes for some entertainment as well. He apologizes now after he saw the results of posting the video. He got a shit ton of hate and so he apologized. However, that doesn't negate the fact that he went into a forest known for suicide, saw a dead body, and then recorded it. He then proceeded to edit the video, and in that time he didn't think about how it was a fucked up thing to do? Listen, I'll go one further. I don't think he edited the video. I think he had an editor. I think he also had a manager that probably saw the video. And every single person on his team definitely knew it was a fucked up thing to do, but posted it anyways. That's the fucked up part, is they knew how much backlash this shit was gonna get, how this was going to affect people. 
But all they see is dollar signs. All they see is views, statistics, attention, motherfucker. Give me that motherfucking attention. I'm Logan Paul. Logan, I accept your apology. Don't listen to the hate. Keep your head up. You are a great guy that has made a bunch of mistakes, which only makes you smarter. You aren't afraid to push your limits and try new things. Have fun in this hectic world, this 2018 signed Kiara Sandberg. Shut up. Finally, my dear fellow Anthony Leacock summed it up quite nicely and he said this. He saw a dead dude in a forest and laughed. And that's pretty much all you need to know about Logan Paul. Well, that was just riveting. Thank you so much for joining me there for a few minutes. I just get a little bummed out when big YouTubers like this, like Logan Paul with millions of subscribers and an influence and this kind of mind control over the youth of the world just fail to show simple signs of human decency like stuff that like this shouldn't be a hard thing to know how to do like when you arrive in this situation shut the cameras off like have a little bit of respect these are normal human things and uh, it's just it sucks that he's so deluded by his vlogs by the potential for views by stirring the pot you know deluded by the amount of attention he's gonna get that nothing's off the table for him. And now that the internet has put him on a cross and nailed his palms into that motherfucker, he's finally coming around and apologizing, but I don't know. So that's it for this video. I hope that the next video has a few more memes in it and we're talking a little bit less about some huge YouTuber that's making all other YouTubers look like fucking assholes. Uh, but until that time, keep it real and do me the favor and waltz slowly up to that like button and take that saucy bitch to pound town thank you so much i'll see you soon peace